Welcome! Are you wondering what special powers designers have to be able to create such beautiful quilts? Well, let me tell you that you too can have those special powers. I have the secret ingredients that make those special powers and I'm going to share them with you. In no time you will be creating quilts with your own powers. You might be wondering about what shapes to use, what colors to use, what templates to use, what quilts to make. Follow me in this wonderful adventure of designing a quilt. What is it about? Shapes. Choosing the shapes that will make up the top of the quilt. Colors. Choosing the colors that will fit together the fabric collection that will best serve the shapes. Blocks. Making the blocks that will make up the quilt. Templates, making the work more enjoyable by making it easier. Quilts, choosing the size that will best fit the purpose of its use. And finally, notions, using the proper tools that make the goal easier to reach. Let's talk about shapes. There are plenty of templates available on the market. You can find Block Lock, Clover, Creative Grids, Easy Quilting, or Fonts and Porter. You also have Laundry Basket Quilts, but my favorite being Marty Michelle. You also have Sew Easy or Sew Daily Designs. Now let's talk about colors. What type of color tools can you use? You have the color wheel, can be downloaded from internet. You have card colors, can be found in DIY stores in the painting department. Or you have color references, can be printed on fabric through Spoonflower. What type of colors? You have U, the attribute of color by virtue of which it is discernible as red, green, etc. And which is dependent on its dominant wavelength and independent on intensity or lightness. Tint. It's obtained by adding white to the U color, also called pastel colors. These colors are perceived as calmer, quieter colors. You have tone, obtained by adding black and white, which is gray, depending on the proportion of black and white. Tones can appear less saturated or intense than the original use. They are closer to the way we see colors in nature. And finally, shade, obtained by adding black, which makes the colors appear richer, darker, and more intense. You can also play with earth tones, color scheme made up of nature's colors, such as browns, greens, grays, or reds. What about blocks? Well, you can have handmade templates. You choose some heavyweight paper, you draw the shapes with the seam allowance, you cut the shapes out, you use the paper template to trace the shape on the fabric, and then you cut the fabric with the scissors. Here are some examples that can be done thanks to the paper templates. But there are also acrylic templates. You can use acrylic templates such as Marty Michelle templates to cut the shapes. Using a rotor key cutter will allow to cut up to five layers of fabric at once. Acrylic templates have a set size. Different references can allow different projects. Here I'm showing you how to use the templates from Marty Michelle. Now let's talk about quilts. Depending on how you set up your blocks, you will have different aspects. And now about notions. Here's a list of needles, thimble, rotary cutters, clips that I use and what I think about them. I also use quilting threads, pins, cutting mats, And finally, I did a list of my favorite glue, seam ripper, 
pencil and scissors that I like to use when working. I'm also telling you about the design wall boards that I use, the binding that I use, and the sewing machine that I use. The steps to make your own quilt pattern from the choice of the shapes to obtaining a square which will be pieced into blocks, learning how to choose the colors, setting the blocks into a top to make a personal quilt. That's the thinking part. The making part is the traditional steps into making a quilt, selecting the blocks, cutting the shapes with paper templates or templates, dispatching the blocks, piecing them, quilting the top, and finishing the project with the binding. Finally, the loving part. Turn your work into a bedspread, a sofa comforter, a chair coverlet, a pillow throwover, a shopping bag, a book cover, or any other project that you can imagine to use. Enjoy this document as much as possible, but know that many more ideas, tips, and suggestions are still on their way. Thank you for following me. I'm Emmanuel.